So now in this video, we'll talk about different types of interfaces and we'll majorly focus on uh, functional interfaces. So when you say types of interface, so the first interface is normal interface. Now what exactly normal interfaces are? So in one interface, if you have more than one method, if you have an interface which has more than one method that is normal. The second one is called single abstract method interface. Again, we can call it in a short form, you can call it a SAM interface. So we have single abstract method interface, which is so it will have only one method. So as you can see, this ABC is a SAM interface. The third one, which we have is called marker interface. Normal interface is an interface which has uh, more than one method. Single abstract method interface has only one method. And marker interface, you guessed it right, it doesn't have any method. Okay, so if you have an interface, so if you have a, any interface which doesn't have any method, will be called as marker interface. Example, if I, if I talk about uh, interface which is in, which is inbuilt interface in Java called a serializable interface and if I click here you can say it's an interface which doesn't have any methods Th this interface is called as marker interface uh, again there will be a question why we need an interface which doesn't have any method again we'll talk about that later once we start with the concept of serialization so we'll, we'll know that at that time but time and remember we ha we do have three types of interfaces we have normal single abstract method interface and marker interface. So till 1.7, we used to have these three. In 1.8, which is the latest version of Java, again, from this video, we'll be focusing more on the uh, Java 8 concepts. In fact, on every concept will have, I mean, all these concepts will have something new, which is there in Java 8. Finally, we're introducing Java 8 here. So in Java 8, which is the latest version of Java, we don't have, I mean, we do have single abstract method, but it, it, that interface is specifically called as a functional interface. So now in Java 8, we have normal, uh, we have functional interface and we have marker interface. Now what is functional interface? It's an interface which has only one method. Why it is so important to know about functional interfaces? It's because if you know functional interface, we can use something called as lambda expression. If you know what is functional interface, we can use lambda expressions wherever you have functional interfaces. So this concept of lambda expression is coming from a language called Scala. So Java adapted Scala language. So now in Java 8, we have all the features which were there in Scala. So again, you, you can do some experiment on Scala. So it, the videos for Scala it is there on my uh, YouTube channel, which it will not take much time of yours. Maybe one or two hours, you will learn Scala there. So Lambda expression is something new to Java, which was not there earlier. So we'll talk about functional interface and Lambda expression now. Let me remove this stuff. So for point remember, we have three types of interfaces, normal, functional interface, and marker interface. Let me remove this and let me go back to this interface here. So this interface ABC just have one method, right, which is show. So this type of interface is called as functional interface. So we can also use an annotation called as functional interface. I mean, why we need to use this is because maybe your intention was to make this interface as functional, but by mistake, you are using one more method here, which is, which is let's say A. And if you do that, you can see we are getting error because functional interface cannot have two methods. We can use functional interface annotation, which is not compulsory anyway. We can remove that. So we have this interface which is functional, right? Now if you observe this code, let's say for, for time being, close your eyes and just imagine what I'm saying. Uh, I hope you have closed your eyes now. So just imagine we have a class called as A. Okay, so we have a class A. When I say A OBJ equal to, now what comes to your mind? So if you imagine, if I say A OBJ equal to, so automatically in your mind, there will be a line, you will complete the line, right? You will say new A. So that is something which, which we can assume. So when you say ABC OBJ, new ABC is something we can assume, right? What about this method public void show? In this ABC interface, we just have one method, right? So why to even define that stuff here? Why to say public void show? The problem is Java, you know, there are lots of people, they don't like Java is because Java has lots of boilerplate codes. Now this boilerplate code, it's something, something which is extra. Okay, we don't need that. This language called a Scala, they, they thought, you know, why to have this, all these boilerplate codes. And in fact, in Java also now we're adapting that. So when you know that from here to here, it is something we can assume, then why to write all those stuff? We can remove that. So we can remove this stuff. Again, let me undo this part. So since I'm removing this curly brackets also, I will remove this one, okay, this curly brackets as well. So I can remove this stuff from here to here. We just need that round brackets there to define that whatever you're you're writing here is a method. And to define that, this is the method name, which is show. So this round brackets is a show method now. 
and we can use an arrow to define that this method here belongs to I mean this statement here belongs to show method since we have only one statement we don't need this curly brackets remove we can remove all these curly brackets and we can see we have two semicolons here I don't need that semicolon I can write everything in one line so that's how you can create an object of an interface in one line okay I mean uh, I, I know uh, that is something very uh, difficult to understand but trust me this is not difficult it is just unfamiliar lambda expression java it concepts are not difficult it is just that you are not familiar with it once you do one or more code you will understand the uh, crux of it but time and remember what we have done is we have just provided the implementation for so show method i wanted to give system dot out dot print in inside show and we have done that so you can see it is still working so this stuff here is called a lambda expression so whenever you use a method bracket and then arrow and then the method definition this is called as lambda expression and this is only possible with functional interfaces you cannot achieve this uh, with an interface which has more than one method uh, because there will be confusion right because if you have more than one method you have to define two methods this statement belongs to which method it will be a confusion right so this stuff only works with functional interface and functional interface only works in java 8 so let me just undo this stuff let me do the do this once again what are the things we have removed so first of all we have removed from here to here because this is something which we can imagine we can also remove this curly brackets and we have to put a arrow there which is a lambda expression now we don't need this curly brackets because we have only one statement we don't require semicolon and we can write everything in one line and if you run this code it still work okay so that's the awesomeness about lambda expression and function interface i know after watching this video there will be some i mean there will be some people who will not understand this but that's okay you know uh, in meanwhile, we'll be doing lots of programming with Lambda expression. You will understand the complete thing once we watch some more videos on it. That's it. Uh, that's it about Lambda expression. See you in the next video.